What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthoxy and welcome back today to Minecraft! How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back! Today, once again, it is time to check out a brand new snapshot which is introducing loads of awesome features towards the aquatic update. So, I mean, we got really, really lucky here. As I kind of explained on the first video, you know, we haven't really looked at many snapshots recently. However, we decided to come and check out one of the aquatic ones. And it just so happens that this week, every single day, there has been a new snapshot released showing off loads of new features, bug fixes, fixes and, and, and various bits and pieces that they've been doing towards the aquatic update. So... So far, we've seen lots and lots of awesome things here. We've uh, gone on a treasure hunting mission, which is actually one of my favorite things so far. Uh, we've seen the tropical fish, which are awesome. And we've kind of played around with the new way that the oceans work. You know, how they're split into different biomes and different biomes have different temperatures. And depending on what the temperature is in the biome, it changes how the biome looks and also changes which fish spawn in them. Well, today is the one that I was looking forward to. And I thought this was actually in the game already, but it's not. It's only just happened in this snapshot, which is 18W10D. And it is time we went and found some naturally spawning coral reefs. Oh, snapperoons. I'm excited about this one. So uh, yeah, we've kind of like, um, we've played around with the coral a little bit. So obviously in the creative inventory, we can have like the coral blocks and we can also play around with the actual plants itself. We've also seen how it interacts with water. However... Ha 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 ha! There is a naturally spawning coral reef very, very close. So uh, yeah, I can't take credit for finding this one. I looked around for ages and I couldn't find one. So I had to go on Reddit. Good old Reddit saves the day. And there was a user, I think his name was, oh geez, hang on. Ah yes, Sir Bennett. Um, <laughs> he found like a seed and coordinates. So I just copied at those and, and pasted them in here. Um, so they are quite rare to find, which I actually really, really like. You may be looking at the ocean and thinking, hmm, it looks very blue. It does not look very coral reefy. <laughs> Let's pop this bad boy. Wait, did we... Wait, have I got the right one? No, I, I meant to get night vision. <laughs> night vision lets you see through the top of the water. It's really cool. So, boom. Okay, everything looks normal. Everything looks normal. However, if we go over here... Dun, 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 Yeah, look at that. So this is, I guess, take one of the first kind of generation of these naturally spawning coral reefs. So we're going to get in there and we're going to have like a little plop about. Um, <laughs> one thing that I would say, I mean, let's go and have a look at like a little look. So three, two, one, and boom. Yeah, look at this. It's so colorful. I really, really like the colors. So from like having a little look on the Reddit, I've seen people who have built their own coral reefs and I think this is maybe like the first go that they've had of naturally generating it. It kind of, at the moment, it looks a little bit messy. It kind of looks like someone's had a game with Splatoon down here. But I really, really like it all the same. So there's some quite strange shapes. I mean, I've seen people that have built them and they look much better. However, you've got to remember these are all like randomly generating. So it kind of depends on how everything's working. I don't know how all that stuff works. But yeah, check this out. So this is a naturally spawning coral reef. Now, ooh, hello, pufferfish. I don't see many tropical fish. Like, one thing that I would really, really like to have is that there's way, way, way more tropical fish spawning in these coral areas. I think that would be really cool. But you can kind of see sort of roughly what... This looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> or a giraffe. One of those long-horsed fellows. You know what I mean. Huh. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see some of the shapes that they're going for. So these kind of, like, trident-shaped things. And then you've got lower things. You've got, like, blocks of texture and stuff. Um, and I actually think that along with the green, it looks really, really nice. I do like the colours. It's a touch on the messy side right now, but hey, you can't have everything in these snapshots. You've got to wait a few weeks. Um, oh yeah, and as well as that, this is another change which I don't think we saw the last time. Um, but they've actually changed the textures on all of the coral blocks. So for example here, this one kind of looks sort of cobblestone -y, the yellow one. Um, the purple one kind of looks cobblestone-y. <laughs> um, the blue one kind of looks, you still see like the little circles and stuff, that kind of looks a bit more corally. Uh, the red one kind of looks like tree bark, I guess. Uh, which one have we missed? Pink. Oh yeah, and the pink one is really nice. Like, I like the pink one a lot. It kind of looks like, I don't know what that looks like, endstone maybe? 
hmm, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, check this out. I thought we'd have a little swim. So as well as this, I actually, I'm thinking I'm going to go and try and find another location just to kind of see if there's any differences because I think this coral reef is, oh, look at the tropical fish. Oh, it's so pretty. Swimming around here. Oh my goodness me. I mean, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Like, as soon as I heard that there was coral, I wanted these reefs and I wanted loads of tropical fish. And both of them have come true. So I'm very happy about that. Interestingly, this coral, coral reef is actually really, really close to the surface of the water. So this one is spawning, I think these only spawn in warm biomes, which obviously because we're right next to a desert, this is a warm biome. However, this one actually really isn't that big. I mean, if we fly up to the top here, you can kind of see, like, if you follow the middle of my screen, that's how big this one is. So I think we're going to go and try and find another seed location, and we're going to see if we can find a slightly bigger one. But I like it. This squid likes it too. Let me give him a little punch. Boop. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Boop. Aha. So coral reef number two. And this one is... Uh, where are we kind of sitting here? We we're sort of, um, I was expecting these to be kind of basically just near deserts. Is this a desert or not? No. Oh, it's it's near a savanna. Oh, no, it is a desert. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that kind of makes sense. So I'm guessing these coral reefs, your best bet of finding them is obviously going to be trying to find the warm water, which is going to be around savanna and desert. Uh, you know, that kind of makes sense. So yeah, this is another coral reef. Um, This one seems ever so slightly bigger, but they're not huge. And I, I like that. I like the fact that they're quite small and that they aren't that common. So in terms of like how often they spawn, I kind of hope that they don't really change that. I think it would be a really nice thing to actually go and try and hunt these. Also, I would love, can you imagine this, having a special underwater ruin which only spawns inside the coral reefs. I think that would be insane. Um, and maybe it has some, like, special loot in it, or it looks really cool, or, you know, there's something special that is inside it that you can only find if you go to one of these coral reefs. I think that would be amazing, but hey, if they do that or not, probably not, but hey. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is another one. So this is Coral Reef Take 2, and uh, as you can see, the water here is quite warm, so it's really, really nice and blue. I do have my uh, night vision, but that's just so I can see, like, through the top of the water to find these guys. Uh, yeah, look at this. So once again, it's really, really close to the surface of the water, like literally a block above. Like this coral plant here is actually poking out the top. <laughs> Look at that. Um, so I think like if you are on land, you could probably see these quite easily if you do have some night vision potions. But even if you don't, I think if you see like little bits of red poking out of the ocean, you could probably see them quite easily. Um, but yeah, I love these. I think they look awesome. So... I mean, I think the update is going really well so far. I'm going to keep my eye on it, and hopefully if they do any more changes or tweaks and stuff, then we'll be able to find those. I was wondering if they'd ever put any chests inside the coral. I don't think they would, would they? That'd be kind of weird. It would kind of make completely no sense, would it? No, ignore that. Pretend I never said it. Ooh, look at this. So I was actually flying around here. I was thinking, you know what, seeing as we're like right here, uh, I was trying to find another treasure map because I really, really loved doing those last time. I've just found loads more coral. Um, So now I'm starting to think that maybe these aren't quite as rare as I was first expecting. Uh, this is a really, really small little patch of it, uh, like a really tiny patch. It just looks so nice, especially with the sand. I think it looks great, but we came over from that direction there's a little one here, and then... Ooh. Oh, it's huge. Okay. <laughs> this is way bigger. What? Wow. This is so strange. Like, I, I maybe it's just this... Um, so if you want to see where this is, this is the seed, and that is the coordinates there, X, Y, Z. Um, but yeah, this is way bigger than any of the other ones that I've seen before. I love it. Let's get down there. Let's go and have a look. Huh. Okay, so maybe they do actually spawn bigger. Maybe we just randomly found, like, two which were the same size. Oh, it's a puffer fish. <laughs> two which were the same size. Because I thought that was kind of roughly the, the right size, but it seems like they do actually have them much bigger. Um, I really like this one, especially with the whole... You could build, like, an underwater base in the middle of this and then have, like, all this coral surrounding. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh. Ah, so there are generating structures here. Oh, no, I broke the chest. Is there a map inside? Oh, there's a map! 
Hey, okay, okay, okay. So there are randomly generating structures inside the coral reefs. What I meant like before though was having like a unique one that only spawned inside these reefs, but another chest. Okay, just rubbish in that one. Uh, should we go and do the map? I mean, why not, right? Uh, okay, we are... We're bottom right, so we need to go... And where's land? I mean, this is the only land that's close. Is it this direction? Surely not. Um, Which way do we go? Maybe it's back the way we came. Usually they're buried in sand. But the way to tell that you're going in the right direction... Well, the way I do it anyway, there's probably an easy way, but the map will start generating when you get close. Oh god, where am I? <laughs> where am I going? Ahaha, ha. we're getting closer. Look at this, look at this. So yeah, the map starts generating when you get close. I've got to say though, I was nowhere near this location. So the first time that we ever found one of these guys, we were super, super close. We were like 10, 15 blocks away. Whereas with this one, I mean, I would say probably a good 15 blocks away from, no, like 500, 600 blocks away from where this is actually buried. So I like the fact that they're a little bit further away. I think the first one that I found was a little bit too easy, but... Oh god, I'm still not really used to this creative mode swimming. <laughs> Doesn't really work. Okay, um, so it should be here somewhere. Shouldn't it? It's usually buried under sand. Where are you, treasure chest? It must be here somewhere. I mean, we're right on top of it, aren't we? Where are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, usually it's sand, but... I've never seen any, like, in cobblestone, so maybe it's a little bit more this way. Oh, 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 I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> okay, I, I was uh, I was looking at the wrong location. Oh, jeez, where did all my items go? No, I punched it. Okay, well, at least we can kind of see what we got. So, damn, I punched it. That's so annoying. Uh, well, at least we got the items. So what did we get from that treasure chest then? We got um, four gold, one diamond, four iron, two emeralds, and five cooked salmon. So... I mean, ideally, it would have probably looked something a little bit like that, I guess. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So it, you're still getting the diamonds. You're still getting the gold. I've actually seen a couple of screenshots where some people are getting some iron weapons as well. Uh, but yeah. Oh, oh. Items float? What? Oh, there's more. Oh, wait. What the heck just happened there? Oh, we got some... Oh, they're emeralds. I thought they were gold. Okay, so there was even more stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, so in, in reality, that's what the chest looked like. Since when did items flow, including heavy stuff? Really? Okay, that's something that I've just found by accident. So obviously, gold bars, though, they're heavy. So wait, look at this. Uh, th that's wheat. Look at this. Wow. Okay, that's really weird. Um... Huh. I mean, that kind of water physics is probably going to be amazing for some, like, automation machines because you can now take items vertically by using water, which is something that you couldn't do before, could you? Wow. Okay. Well, you live, you learn. That is something that I completely found by accident. Uh, okay. Well, the only other change that I have to show you here today is one that they've made with the Phantom, which... um. It's it's quite a strange change, I guess. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, really. But the phantom, which we saw reskinned, so let's spawn a few fat phantoms in here. There we go. If we go to the daytime, time set day, they've made them undead. Um, so these guys now work like zombies, basically. So yeah, they now burn in the daytime. Isn't the whole point of these guys like if you don't sleep, then they come and get you? Are they only ever going to get you now in the night? I mean, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time... Huh. I'm not too sure what to make of that one, to be honest with you. I feel like that's going to annoy people. I don't know, it's a really cool mob, but... I guess it's kind of like... I guess they're kind of trying to do, you know, if you're, if you're not sleeping at night and you're not safe at night because you need to go to bed, blah, 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 the phantoms will come and eat you. But, yeah, they, they, they now burn in the daytime. So that's kind of just one more little change. Uh, and I think, unfortunately, that's probably about it for this snapshot update. However, obviously, it's amazing because we did get to see the naturally spawning coral reefs. 
we found a treasure map as well because why not and uh, yeah i'm really excited for this aquatic update so i think that's going to be about it for today's video thank you very much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did then please remember to poke me in that like button and if you are not yet subscribed go for it because we do minecraft on fun but until next time thank you once again for watching it's been such a pleasure as always thanks for